doing to this so uh, get the music turned down a bit there we go <coughs> where did I get the music from it's all from pretzel as my exploit crashed it has not I was genuinely concerned there for a second hello witchy massy fahi simulator gaming monster graham don't turn on cruise control. Don't cur don't tr turn off cruise control. So we're gonna start off by basically continuing on directly from the video from today. Um, I want to finish the bailing here, and then we'll get uh, get rid of the tune playing. Okay. There we go. On to the next tune. Hello, Richard, Richard Western Trader fan, Farmer Jerry. How I say I'm good. I'm good. Um, if you see me randomly like going like this, it's because I've hit the brake most likely. And uh, my room is now tidy, which means I don't have a pile of rubbish to stop me from rolling backwards. Uh, the joy is I can make a joke out of it, like by doing this. He says, hoping desperately that his. <laughs> this wheel was on strongly enough. Have I played the new map? No, I'm not too... I'll be honest, I'm not too interested in the Valley of the Old Farm. I'll probably check it out off-camera later. Um, but like, blunt, honest, heartless opinion. It doesn't appeal to me at all. Um... I'll probably download it later and have a look off camera, but it's it's not the kind of map that I would want, want to uh, that I want to play normally. So probably won't end up playing it. I could be wrong. I could change my mind. Um, but I'm glad that that Black Sheep finally managed to get it out. He had the same problem with it as um, what it built it with the West Coast. The servers are slow. I wonder why. Yeah, giant servers are going to be a bit overloaded by that coming out. I'm more interested in the... Um, it's a good map. It's going from... I'll check it out later and see if it meets my own personal preferences. If it does, I might play on it for a bit. Um, but the map that I'm really looking forward to, after watching a bit of Landy's stream yesterday, I was intentionally not paying much attention. Um, but the map, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Oakfield. Like, that looks like it's going to be something truly special. Um, you'd like an Irish map the size of the West Coast? Working on a chain. I was actually doing some mapping last night. If you look in the GE room in Discord, you will see... Uh, the, oh no, not again. The progress I've made with the trees, I think we're... I'm nearly up to the point where... Uh, oh good lord, the bailer won't actually go up the hill. Maybe if I eject the bales, it'll... Come on. There we go, just need to get a bit of momentum. Oakfield's five minutes away from you, very nice. No shame. 
I do have a new series planned, um, other than Oakfield, by the way. I do have a series planned out. I'm waiting on a couple of things before I, I um, move forward and start that. Um, actually, I, I might start it tonight, but it'll be off-camera work uh, for several hours before I'm, I'm happy with where I am in, in the, the, the save. You think I need a bigger tractor? I think I do too, but there is a bit of a conundrum. There's a kerfluffle. Because, I do need a bigger tractor, that I'm not going to deny. But I also need 240,000 to start up the VGA. I need wheel weights. I don't think weight is the issue. Actually, I think weight is the issue, but not in the way you think, Aaron. I think the issue is that this just doesn't have the power to pull the weight of the baler with, pro with even a couple of bales in it up, uh, up this incline. You know, it, it is quite the uh, steep hill, so... I'm not all that surprised. Also, I completely... Hang on, I need to tab out real quick just to uh, get something done in, in Stream Labs because I forgot to turn something off. Uh, log in... With YouTube... That account... That account... Allow... I just need to turn something off real quick. Change a couple of... Uh, that... Can I subscribe? Disabled. And save settings. Um, I also want to go to event list here. And... That. Here we go. JWB use the fast tracking Chrome better. Yes, but you might notice that their field, the fields that uh, JWB do, are in no way as steep as uh, this one. Hello, simulating games. You didn't think a lot of people would be downloading the new map? No, I knew it'd be quite popular. I knew it'd kind of overload the servers a bit. Um. What difference does buying the BGA make? It means I can use it, Farmer Jerry. Because I have the BGA extension mod enabled, which means that I actually need to own the BGA to use it. So I've got some silage down there at the moment. But it's completely useless, as I don't own the BGAs. Well, I don't actually have silage, I've got chaff. Hello, Hayden. 1050 would be good if it's an R. <laughs> I suppose. Part of the way of ratio of this setup is horrendous. Yeah. That's pretty much all I can do with this. Because that's, yeah, just not gonna. Be very happy. The bright side is that I can actually replace the um, Heston bales over time with the um, big pack bales. Do we have any other fields that are 100% ready to harvest at the moment? I don't think we do. Uh, we got 10, 15, 3 we could do, I suppose, but that would involve paying out even more money. I think what we might do is have a look at how much wheat we have in storage real quick. And perhaps... I'm just going to bring this over into the storage field. Uh, perhaps think about... Um, selling some of the wheat off. Hello, Dan. Can I do an episode on Dramard Farm? No, because I have taste. Um, I have standards, I don't like Dramart. Hey, David! <laughs> Dramart is, is one of those weird maps. I always say that I want an Irish map. But I'm really, 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 really overly picky with Irish maps. Like, to the point where it's... Like, I might never be happy with one. Um, and I'll openly admit that. 
I think Sim is just kind of sat there nodding his head right now because I'm hilariously picky with Irish maps. Good job on Oakfield, by the way, um, David. That looks stunning. I've been... I was trying to avoid watching stuff, but I couldn't help but tune into Landy's stream yesterday <laughs> and get a bit of a sneak peek. Come for advice when you make Irishman. Google Maps, and please don't make square fields. <laughs> That's my main issue with 90% of them is square fields. <laughs> That's actually my issue with Dramard. Like, Dramard has awesome... Um, awesome, awesome yards. But... The fields just really kind of let the map down, and it's a shame. I get why it was done. I can understand why people like it, because, you know, it's an Irish map. It does have the Irish kind of rolling hills, but the fields just kind of... Uh. Um, okay, number one. Where do we sell the wheat? Um, can't sell the BGA. We can s sell the biogas. Little Woolhope looks like the best place for wheat sales. Uh, although, ooh, Little Woolhope's really good for corn at the moment. I think we might be a stop selling some corn. Made a check map. <laughs> Evening, Bullet Bill. Thumbnails, <laughs> thumbnails so realistic. That's one of the last thumbnails I took before I put in MR, actually. Um, okay, where am I trying to go here? What's the quickest way up there? Not this way. Oh no, that way, yeah. Yeah, if I go up that way and go to the um, crossroads up there, then I'll be good. Do I like Ballymoon Castle? No, like I said, I'm overly fussy with Irish maps. It's actually hilarious how fussy I am. Um, now, granted, I'm working on my own. That if it doesn't meet my own standards, I'll be kind of shocked. <laughs> People probably won't like it, but I, I'm working on my own because the way I see it, if I'm going to be really fussy about everybody else making Irish maps, I should really make my own just to, I guess, appease myself. I don't need to feel like I need to appease anybody with mapping, but just to appease myself and in a way prove that maps are the easiest mods to make. Because realistically they are. They're time consuming, they're infuriating, they're confusing, but they're easy in terms of modding. Cormac, you don't have to. This is uh, the same save game and I'm playing on the update um, myself. Do it, please, Reese. I don't know if it's ever going to get done. Like, honestly. It... If I ever finish it, yes, I will release. Um... <laughs> but... It's just so such slow going, and... Honestly, there are times when I just don't want to work on it. I'm desperately trying not to hit the brake too hard. I've got a bad habit from racing games of just slamming down my foot on the brake. Um, and if I do that, I start scooting backwards. In fact, I already I am scooting backwards just from using the throttle. Bill can tell me about mapping struggles. Struggles. Oh, I know. <laughs> he can tell me about many different kinds of struggles. Um, this in. Oh, yeah. It, it would pro I'd probably be a lot further done if I could actually be bothered with GE most nights. Because I went in for... Oh, nuts. That's not the right way at all. <laughs> Where am I going? Um, I went in last night and did like three fields. Like really quickly. And I only spent maybe half an hour in, in G. Um, my laziness really gets the most of me most days. It, where even am I going anymore? 
I'm completely lost. This is amazing. Um, oh, I'm going there. Okay. How late are you? Not at all, Jack. I'm going to be going for about 18 minutes. Yeah, one of the main struggles is actually getting the um, the drive together to get into G in the first place. Once you're in there and you're making progress, you feel great and, you know, you keep going, but actually opening up GE and opening up the map in the first place is my biggest struggle, at least. Uh, I'm not going to speak on behalf of you guys, but my own personal biggest struggle is it's just getting the, um, the drive together to work on the map in the first place. Sorry, my tablet needs charging. It's kind of... Why is this junk here? Go away. Go away. All of us go away. Now, that's trying to fall over. Stop trying to fall over. There we go. How am I supposed to get out of this? I've kind of half trapped myself. If I do this and then... I've made a mess, haven't I? Yeah, life gets in the way. That like that Silver's problem is life just keeps getting in the way for him. And like we make jokes and all that, but Silver's big, 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 big problem is life just keeps throwing stuff at him that he's gotta try and deal with. Go into the field, or I could do a perfect turn like this. Bo Do you know, boredom's never something that's been a problem for me in G. If I start getting bored, I just throw a YouTube video on my second screen. Or, uh, open... I actually opened a pretzel at, some, at one point last night just because I was getting a small bit bored. That's kind of it, Bill. Is like, there's so many good Hello, British Dave. maps. Alan McPherson, thank you for subscribing. That shouldn't have happened, but okay. Um, there's so many good British maps and so many... Um, Irish players that I'm genuinely shocked there's not been an Irish map that really just I think that might be the problem is like none of the maps have captured Ireland kind of a, the feel of it I don't even know with my map world despite the fact that it's based um, about three miles in that direction Just it's so hard to capture the mess of Ireland. <laughs> hey Alan and Matthew. Nathan, um I don't know if you do this already. Listen to music. That's what I do when I start getting bored and it seems to really help. Just like open up Spotify or whatever music player you have. Probably Spotify at this point. It's kind of ubiquitous. GameStop near you is the biggest seller of farm sim in Europe. Yeah, I saw something on Giants Discord the other day that really kind of shocked me. Um, and that's that farm sim is not just one of the top 10 games in Germany in terms of sales, but it's actually one of the top three. So like, you imagine all the games that come out in a year and farm sims in the top three of them. So much of the remake Spring Hill. Absolutely not, Karmic. That's. I think that's a map that needs to be retired. I don't. I don't want to say let it die, but. Um. The same was trying out. Was it last night or the night before? Um. Hagenstedt for FS17, the new version of Hagenstedt. I was going through it. And he was just. He just said to me in Teamspeak. Dave, now I know why you keep saying just let the maps die. And it's not that I don't want to see them again. It's that the, when a map gets converted, a bit of the aura around it goes away. Especially if it's something like Spring Hill or Hagenstadt, where everybody loves those maps. But a bit of the aura gets chipped away, and if it's converted forward too much, it just ends up being just another map that's kind of mediocre at best. I 
And uh, that's why, I, that, like, that's the reason I say just let the maps die. It's not through hatred, it's, it's through love of those maps that... Let them die as good maps, instead of putting them on life support and continuously bringing them up and, and chipping away that aura. Yeah, the, like, I, I don't think I've ever managed to phrase it correctly in, in Sim talking about it, the, uh, I think it was last night, it might have been the night before. Kind of really gave me the words that I needed. It's like, every map has an aura around it, and converting it, even if it's by the original author, it chips away at that. And really, to keep the aura, you, you almost need a brand new rebuild of the map from scratch. Just to get kind of a new aura built. <laughs> I could see you doing that, David. I could totally see you doing that. But make sure that you move all of the buildings around every single time he saves. Um, get it like a script in that moves every building. Upon a save. Um, hello, Eddie. And JCB. Let's see if I can remember how on earth I got to the cell point here, because my memory is shot. Hello, Archie. Okay, this way, and then down. Ah, down over here, yes. This actually makes it look like I know what I'm doing. You change your map too much, people won't. Yeah. And when you release 17,000 different versions of the map, people tend to get bored of it. <laughs> That's just, like... Public releases, not testing releases. Testing releases are perfectly fine to have a trillion releases of those to fix bugs. You like chatting? I thought chatting for 17 kind of was a bit crap, in a word. You t oh my god. Sad, sad people who get that upset over a game. I never played Sandy Bay in FS15. I really quite enjoyed Sandy. I enjoyed Cold Bray, even though a little of the horror was missing, I felt. Like I said already, that's down to conversions. Is Landy on tonight? Yes, Landy will be on tonight. Um, I was kind of, I'm kind of in the, a lucky minority that didn't play your maps in FS15, though. Like, because I got to come to them all in, in the pretty, pretty graphics of FS17, completely fresh. And I, I, I kind of feel, um, in a way, blessed by that. In a way, really angry I never tried them in 15. Oh, I've had a few as well, Bill. Because... Hey, you put yourself in the public, the public are going to be morons about it. I laugh at them, I laugh at the, the... I mean, I've spoken about it very openly. Myself, Sim and Landy, when we get really, really stupid comments that are really abusive for no good reason, we, we all laugh about it. Wouldn't be offended. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I never... I, I never played them in 15, I don't know why. And I'm really genuinely annoyed by that. But it was great to come to them fresh in 17, for sure. I was probably one of the few farms and YouTubers who've been going since 15 who haven't... who were fresh on all your maps. Because I had this weird fascination with doing, like... maps that Dagoran wasn't doing. Ventanman... No, I wasn't on Ventanman for the entirety of 15, Dan. But I had this weird fascination with doing maps that Daggerwind and Sim weren't doing. And in hindsight, that was probably a terrible idea. <laughs> but it seemed like a good one at the time. You have to eat? Well, enjoy, Tristan. Like 
10 values going to have to me. That is a, a map that maybe should left, be left alone. Because that was in 13 as well, I believe. Yeah, I played, I played uh, for a small bit personally, Chant Extended, and it just never never gripped me. I don't know why, I just... I guess... If I played it now, it would. But uh, mainly because my taste in maps has changed. It just never gripped me in 15. Then again, I was the, the lunatic in 15 who played Nuston with... Um, the smallest equipment I could find. Because of course I was. Like this time a year ago I was on Nuston Farm and I, if I remember right my Christmas special from last year, I probably won't record one this year. My Christmas special from last year took me about eight hours to record. You tried my talking slowly tip. Did it work, Eddie? What do you think of the taste of Donegal? Well, I think if it's converted, it should be pretty much started from scratch, to be honest. Um, like, it's not a bad map. I never liked it, but it's not... It's not... It was never a lost cause map, and... There have been a few kind of maps that I've seen where they pretty much have to be restarted to be fixed up fully. Um, a taste of goal needs some fixes if it does get converted, for sure. Um, the, the main one being the entire road system needs to change because, no disrespect to Dylan, but the way he does it is really, really awkward. Um, because the way he does his road system is everything is just like one square. It's a bunch of, like, square bits of road thrown together. And I can kind of understand why he did it. But it's really, really awkward to try and fix the terrain issues that map has with the road system the way that it is. Um, because I did it on Mulroy and I spent... Dylan, I think, is working on a Mulroy convert uh, with Sim. Or, Sim did, like, most of a convert, and he's doing some work to finish it, I think, was the last I heard. But, like, that's a, a pet peeve I always had with his, his maps, was just the road system was little squares, and it made it near impossible to edit. Um, and his, his terrain was kind of, shall we say, rough. <laughs> um... I legitimately had to go in there with the map to get one or two fields workable properly. Um, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong No, that's the wrong way too. How are they both the wrong way? Did I enjoy my noodles? I did enjoy my noodles, actually. They were noodly. I think I'm getting... Yeah, I'm getting the fast track stuck in the trees. This is decidedly not what I want to be doing. So if I start turning... How are they both the wrong way? Two thirds of your normal speed. See, that's it. You don't need to slow your uh, speech down too much. And for people who have a habit of um, kind of mixing up their words and getting confused mid sentence, a top tip for me, because I do it myself, is to just slow down when you're talking. Intentionally talk. Not like super slow, but just talk slowly, so you've got time to, you know, think up what, what you want to say next. And have some pauses, so whoever you're talking to is sat there wondering what exactly it is you're going to say next, because pausing does tend to help with, <laughs> with speeches. Just look at uh, Barack Obama, the way he... You sent me a PM on Facebook. My phone is dead, Sim. I'll check after the stream.
Um, I forgot to charge my phone. Well, actually, it's now about 20% charge. I should be able to get through the rest of the stream with it. Let's turn it on. Get on the correct side of the road. I hate the AI. Hello, Bobcat and Jacko. Did you say hello to Sim, but not me? Where's the valley of the old farm situated? Um, I would say the south of France. Rip. What's Rip about? I hope that's about me hitting the traffic and not about the stream dropping. Rip, rip, rip. Back. Oh, the stream dropped. Wonderful. Is this gonna happen now? That might have actually been me turning on my phone. Are we still buffering? Still having issues? Extreme lag. Is Oakfield out? No. So low to me as well. Okay. Not anymore. Didn't drop for Hayden. Interesting. You're trying to choose which seasons country would suit it best. Um, I would say use the Europe Geo mod. I believe there is a European one. Or Germany. See you, Bobcat and Simulator. That, mi that lag might have been caused by me turning on my phone, I'll be honest. Uh, what did Sim send? I don't trust things Sim sends me. Especially not while I'm streaming. I was right to not trust it. Sim, you... It's not on Dagman's channel. Did you not see it on Sims or Landy's, Jacko? Absolute git. I'm just going to keyboard my way over to the um, fueling point because I actually need the keyboard to refuel anyway. And then we're going to start uh, fast forwarding time to the next day. Stop, you get. We'll fast forward time to the next day, so. Uh, just need to do this. Night time, day time! Now, do I have any fields that need harvesting now? Hello, simulation for the nation. Ah, uh, the cows, the boy, well, the pigs can be fed. That's something we could do. Uh, 10, 15, and 4 can all do with being harvested now. 4 is in canola, is it not? 4 is in canola. Yeah, let's do canola. Um, I'll need to. Just move. Well, I don't need to, but it's probably best if I move the cultivator out of the way. Before I do anything else. Because I'm going to need the combine to pass through that area. Have I tried the Italia DLC for ETS2? No, I've bought it. Um, and I've updated my pro mods. So... Good news, everybody. We'll have ETS2 streaming tomorrow. Um, I don't know who's going to play chat monkey for me, but or even if I will have a chat monkey, because I've got an idea for something that might work. Um, so I might try going chat monkey list and seeing how well I do. Also known as badly. Um, that's enough room for the combine to pass through. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, let's cart with the case. Pedro, I'm not gonna have Pedro on a stream. 
I don't trust Pedro enough to have him on a stream. The amount of messages that I have to delete from Pedro. Promance has updated, I know, I've got it. Uh, yes, it has. Uh, 2.25 now. This is a new version of Promods. Uh, to suit the Italia DLC, it was released uh, before the DLC, actually. It was released before the DLC, but it, it was made to suit it. Um, with, like, road connections into the new Italy and all that. And they're just using the SES uh, standard Italy for now. Possibly they might redo it at some point in the future, but they're just using SES standard right now. Which, uh... Perfectly fine, in my opinion. So I'll see how canola harvests um, in MR. We are actually overspeeding right now. And what I want to do is get out onto the road quickly, 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 quickly. There we go. I don't mind pulling the header behind the combine like this, although. That wheel on the header trailer looks wrong. Hey, hey, that's the Dave. Yeah, Pedro only knows French. Let's get this turned in. If you're enjoying, by the way, feel free to hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Ah, no, that's the wrong way, Dave. Oh, that wheel falls down when you... Ah! I was wondering why I was hitting that consistently. Let's get the combine unfolding. Will we grab the header? I may have parked a bit too close to the shed. Um, come on. Come on. I think I gave myself enough room. I gave myself a bit too much room. There we go. A f family friendly Pedro and Dan for 24 hours. Do you mean 2.4 seconds? Bring all Valley View. Boo, not Phantomman. <laughs> Good luck with that, Dave. I'm gonna actually um, have my mapping hat on later as well. Got a few small things they need to do before I can start looking at buildings and whatnot. Um, which is gonna be fun, to say the least. That's actually the bit that I'm not looking forward to, is the buildings, which is why I've been putting it off. Hello, Cameron. Jacko, will you turn off caps lock, for goodness sake? There we go. <laughs> Your homework's done very good, Richard Wester. Hello, Elaine. What even is this? No, no, not too much wob. Not in a wobby mood. Hello, Tiger Dave. Have I secret... Has Pretzel by some chance changed what plumbing playlist I'm listening to? Because this is very wobby. And while there are days where I feel fantastic, this is wobbing too. Oh my god. No, you don't have the valley now. I Maintain's mean, gonna take some. Yeah. Have a bought a grass men raffle ticket? No. Jacko, that wasn't a request. That was a warning. <laughs> As was that timeout you just got. You have Google. You're gonna copy and paste it. 
Um, not the greatest idea once you get to college level, Richard, or, or university, whichever you want to call it. Um, however, if you learn how to paraphrase, then it is really, really useful. By paraphrasing, I mean say it in a different way. Um, Next map, I do. Can I do it? the smallest machine I can find? That's gonna be, that's gonna be Oakfield Hayden. No. Am I gonna play on um, Valley of the Old Farm? No, probably not. I'll have a look at it later tonight, but I, I don't think I will. How do you make mods MR? You put in the XMLs. I have no idea. I've been meaning to look up uh, the Sim Stations um, tutorial. On it. I've still not done it. Well, if you want to know, um, the sim station sub goal is a bit too high. Sub goal is exactly how I meant it to be, Jack. I'm testing something. Um, if if I I've, I've set the sub goal high intentionally to um, test a theory I have. What you miss? Uh, we finished bailing. Over in field five, was it? Yeah, field five. Um, sold off some corn because that was good money. Now we're doing canola harvest in field four, and uh, you can see the yield is actually quite good for how little canola we put down. What is my theory? My theory shall remain a secret so that my the experiment I'm running is not ruined. Um, I've told Landy and Sim what the theory is. I'm kind of running an experiment right now to see how, how it stands up. It seems people forget that I am, at heart, a scientist. When I get to 7,000 something will happen. Yes! I'll be on 7,000 subscribers. It's not, it's not um, testing a theory for you guys or, or you know, Giving you guys a reward, it's it's me testing something for my end. So feel coming out on console. Yes, I've heard it's coming out in the new year on console. Um, because the testing for console takes longer apparently because they've got to run a past um, primarily Sony but also Microsoft. They gotta make sure that everything's running 100% smoothly and all that kind of stuff, and it's a faff and a half. Um, but um, with patience, you will get it on console, yes. The same with the upcoming update to the West Coast. Uh, that's going to be on console as well. Hello, Kirk. Actually, I just remembered. I meant to check something, and this isn't something that I need to tab out for, because they did. Dural, you wondrous, wondrous man. Dural has the Straw Harvest DLC in MR now as well, and he's tweaked the prices. The prices are now much more in line with what you'd pay in the game. MR and Valley Hill Fields, 4 miles an hour at the 939. Interesting. Hello, happy TNT gamer. Uh, updates coming when it's been tested, Richard. Um, possibly after Oakfield releases. Bailing. Yeah, bailing is slow anyway, so that doesn't surprise me. Four miles an hour is about... Four miles an hour, what's that? About seven and a half, eight kilometers an hour. Um, which makes sense to me. I've been bailing at about that speed on some of the hills here, so... Actually, a lot slower on some of the fields here. Yeah, but I'm only using a fast track 8000.
I mean, you look at one only farmer. Uh, he bales at on flat fields with good with relatively lo low yield with his big pack. He bales at six and a half, seven miles an hour, and he counts that as fast. So I would I would say four miles an hour with a nine three nine on a big pack on a hill. It's probably about right. Hello, Latvian. How are you doing today? I think people are kind of annoyed because I'm not ranting too much. I'm actually giving actual thoughts of things. Can't play. But to be honest, if you want to play realistically, use MR. If you want to arcade. The junk. Well, there's a hundred kilometer an hour John Deere on Mott Hoster for you. Hello, Elaine. <laughs> uh, I'm much more in the realism with some chaos camp because I I do like having things slow down. Just be nice and kind of chill like this. Yes, it takes longer to do things. And they can be frustrating at times. Yeah, absolutely. Does the game suddenly feel better now that I'm using MR? I would say absolutely. It just... It just feels right. Hello, Lee. You play Black Sheep's new map? No, I have not. How? Were you asking me or Dusty Dave? Simulation for the nation. That's why I call Dave Dusty. Um, <laughs> Don't talk about anything with wheels, or people will leave. I can talk about tractors and people won't. I'm really tired of playing basketball day. I miss playing basketball. I used to play it in school, and I just haven't played it in... God, coming up on ten years now. I kind of miss it. Well, it's never any good, but I miss it. Uh, what time am I ending the stream? I'll be ending at about 7 o'clock and handing over to Mr. Landy Kid. Also, Loser Monster, if you're here, could you grab the link to today's video and just pop it into chat at the end of the stream, please? Because uh, I'm quite happy with how that came out, although annoyed with the fact that I had to render it like six times to get it to work. Um, hello again, Jacko. Hello, Sam Allen. <laughs> I'm getting on okay. Spline placement is king. Um, and I found out that I, a, a feature of my keyboard that I thought was useless is actually really, really useful in GE. Because if I press um, function W, it moves the arrow keys over to be W, A, S, and D. Which actually means that I just need the one hand to work every command that I need in GE. And one hand can stay on the mouse. Um, which makes life a lot easier for me. Hello, Northernia, the Meerkat train van, and Jack Han, as well. I think most mods that come out with VMR from now on. The thing is, Jack, is that MR is just effectively an XML you can throw in. Um, you know, it's, it's not a full total convert of the mod. It can be, if you really want it to be, but it doesn't have to be. First few hours in the G were age inducing. Yeah. Spelling placement script. You're just jealous because you don't know how to use it, Dave. Um, did I have any look with tech mods? 8 or an MR. Uh, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> yes, blind placement I think is that it's most useful for hedges. 
I use it for trees too, but that's just a little laziness. Hello, it's Mr. Plays. Or it's MR Plays. Yes, this is now MR. Uh, I do have something else, a cool little toy that I have in MR now as well. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm intentionally keeping cheap money on, by the way. Um, I'll show you the new mods that I've got in MR, actually. Why not? So I've got... A... This. I've got... A new version of this. So I just go for the. Yeah, let's get this in RX. Uh, and I have something over. here. No, 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 no. That should be MR. Why is that not MR? That hasn't worked. I'll have to send word to Landy. Um, but I do have the Scorpion, and it should be MR, but it's not. And oh, lag. So I got a 6R, which. Texture work on this isn't the best, but. It's good enough to be used. Actually, that texture work is really good. I'm not too gone on the matte green kind of look he's got going on, or the, ugh, the uh, blockiness of up here, compared to, you know, the 9R. Uh, but I got the 9RX, uh, and the 6R series in MR now as well. I do like the 6Rs, by the way. What should you tell Landy? Uh, tell him that the Scorpion is not MR. Nor is the 9R MR. The 9R is not MR. Um, whatever the person did, I'm not going to name names, whatever the person did, they are not MR. Uh, the conversion failed, annoyingly. Uh, should have a tractor. I do need to get something over to the pigs. I need to get actually the um... cows will probably need mucking at. I need to get just to keep the pigs kind of well fed. I'm gonna bring the Kramer over there. Get the pigs fed because I got pig food over there. I just need to get the uh, loader over. What was I trying to do? I was uh, testing to see if- Oh, for the love of crap, here comes the train. Jacko, you won't get banned if you behave. Can I... Do these have collisions? ta -da! <laughs> Consummate contactin Great stream this evening. Constantly engaged. I tried to do that. That's look, I feel like that's the point of streaming is engaging. I must be using the wrong version. I shouldn't be, but I might be. The I'll double check the folder. Um, no, I'm using the new one, Sim. He sent me a new one yesterday or the day before when I don't think you were in Discord or Team or yeah, Teamspeak, um, and it doesn't seem to have worked. Least uh, Oakfield is not out yet. When it's out, it'll be on the mod hub. I don't need uh, you. Don't need to answer. What device am I on? PC. Absolutely 100% PC. Uh, otherwise I wouldn't be able to use all my delicious little scripts. Uh, or test this version of the West Coast for Bullet Bill.
So for anybody wondering, this is the new version of the West Coast. This is the update. Um, and what he's done is... The main thing you might notice is your frame rates will be higher. He's done a lot of optimization. If you're using an existing save game on it, you might get some weird little graphical glitches temporarily. That's fine. If you just work the fields, they'll go away. Um, see you simulation for the nation. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, what else is there about... I'm being an idiot. Why am I being an idiot, Dan? What did I do wrong? Because I downloaded them direct from the folder. Five or three five. I don't. Um. No, there any a. Uh, <laughs> um. Dan can say that. The mods can say that. Um, and in fact, I encourage you to call me an idiot if I'm doing something stupid. What? What am I doing stupid, Dan? Um. Because it should. As far as I'm aware, it should work. <laughs> I might have done something stupid to break it, but it should work. Um, do I have a frigging... I've got one that I should reskin and make MR. Um, or I could reskin and make MR. Although the MR bit's going to be a pain. Um, his works. Mine doesn't, I'm confused. Oh, buggeration, did I download the wrong one? Must not have named it right. I'll look into it after the stream, I guess. See if I did, in fact, do something stupid. I should really get a bucket to just sit down here for the pigs. And... Uh, I had the skid steer loader down here to do this, didn't I? Oh, but the skid steer only has a bucket, yeah. I need to get a, um, a skid steer pad fork for the pigs, in fact. I'll put the whole zip in. Um, because it was the full mod. Now. Unless I was supposed to take the XML out of the zip and put it somewhere else, it should work. You play it every week, I play it almost every day. And only partially by choice. Xamarin mod going to iOS and Android. Absolutely, but not consoles. Hey Sim, Jacko's making your favourite claim. <laughs> For those of you who, who um, make the claims that oh, I was your first sub to Sim, uh, fun little fact, he knows pretty much all of his first hundred and I think I was somewhere in the 30s in terms of... Either the 30s or the 50s in terms of subbing to Sim, so... Um, I genuinely can't remember. Well, I know I was there quite early and... Uh, Comically helped his channel at the start, because I had the bigger channel. I decidedly don't know, but... Oh well. Do I know if Peter's released the Massey 390? No... Yeah, I really need to get a pallet fork down here for the... well... Is it going to be necessary? Because this is going to take all the pig food, isn't it? I think... I think one of the jobs I need to do is actually... Sell... Like, 70 pigs. Or quite a few, at least. Because um, that's going to be all the pig food gone, most likely. Uh, animals... Oh my god, they still need more. Never let your pigs get up into the hundreds. How did I get that? The Kramer? That's in game. That's in front loaders. 
Most of what I'm using is actually in game. Bring my pig numbers back down to 50. That is, yeah, that is tempting, but I'd have to sell off like. 70? 80 pigs? Which will be great for money, but ugh. Not looking forward to that sales trip. The balloon, that's, yeah, that's the Kramer, that's in-game vehicle. It is... Right there, in front loaders. Great money. I know. I'm not selling anything at the moment, so it doesn't matter too much. Must try yeah, but I best actually turn it off now while I remember. Uh, although now it's officially called the money cheat. Is it a mod? No, it's in game. I've said it multiple times. So now in the stream. Do you guys actually want to see me selling pigs for half an hour? Because it's going to take like half an hour to sell them all. <laughs> if not longer. Because uh, the animal sales point is down in town and that's quite a distance. Um, and if memory serves, it's... Okay, what do I have... Let's start at the basics here. What do I have in terms of... No, why did that happen? No, go back. Um... In terms of animal trailers, where's the animal stuff? Animals. Um, oh, that's MR. Beautiful. Okay. Let's do this then. Lisa Larry in a trailer. Uh, how about no? Because I got a better idea. Because I don't need to lease anything. I already have the lorry, just need to go up to the um, yard and grab my trailer. Because I've already got that. Dan, would you like to do the honours? <laughs> Dal could do it too, why not? Um, throw him in the trailer. Well, I actually have an animal trailer up at the yard, I'm just going to grab it now. Um, it's just going to be a case of, well, grabbing it and going back down. <laughs> Dal with the tr getting in there to troll Dan. Um, wow, the trolls are out in force today. Was pressed at the same time, possibly, Dan. I don't apologize, Dan. That was hilarious. Trolls are out in force today. What is it about? What is it about Wednesday and trolls? Are you like you're early? It's usually Sunday or Saturday. You guys come out. put this trailer away nice and neat so that people stop complaining about me having a mess. Ignore that. Um, <laughs> also, I've left the combine and case on, so I will need to at least turn them off. But if you're enjoying the stream, guys, do hit the like button. Do feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, I forgot this thing only reverses at 9 kph. This is maximum speed. There we go. This black sheep lorry looks what- This isn't the black sheep one, this is the b default in game one. I'm gonna cut down through field 17 here, this is gonna be a bit faster. Um, just to cut out the town. It's too dark for me to play outside, apparently so! Uh, 
I knew I was right in being suspicious when the numbers suddenly shot up. Um. <laughs> This music is really just terrible today. Wow. The music's trolling me even. Is this my favorite game? Nope. It's just the one that I play the most. Looks like equipment showing that feel. Yeah. But deal with it. Um, I will have to double check why that stuff isn't there more after the stream. It could well be the case that I just derped and done something stupid. So it's off to the pigs we go with our big trailer. Black Sheep 1 looks good from what you see. That's the thing I... Uh, hmm. I'm going to be trolling myself. As opposed to what? I'm always trolling myself. Uh, I knew it would be an interesting stream. It's well fast for a truck. That's like 30 miles an hour. Why did nobody tell you? Latvian, it's in all the discords. It's been spammed in the discords. Bill Bill gonna give me another version of West Coast versus this last version. Um. I believe there's gonna be another version after this, but it might just be. A case of build. I know Bill's looking into something. It all works absolutely fine. It doesn't for me, and that's confusing. I wonder. I'm gonna have to look it up after after the stream. I'll I'll, I'll do some investigations. I got time to do it as well, so that's that's gonna be. Um, it'll be fine. I'll work through it and see what exactly is causing that issue. Because I downloaded it from the folder you sent, and in theory it should all work, but even the even the Scorpion's not working. Um, so I'm guessing I've got, I've done something stupid, and it's conflicting with something or other. Right, here goes nothing unloading the pigs. So I have to come in from here. The XML has to go into the database. Because I have a few mods where the XML is built into them. Didn't realize the XML had to go into the database. That's what I've done wrong. Because you can have the, the XML just within the mod. Um. as a secondary XML. Hello, CD. Need to... Yeah, I'm gonna actually move them into the database after the stream and see if that works. I wanna set up another map anyway, so that would be kinda fine. Hello, Jag. I also wanna test out the Black Sheep map. Uh, by the way, that's Adlandy, if you haven't seen already, if nobody's, somebody, somehow nobody's told you. Uh, 21 pigs, that's slightly more. Yes. I still think this thing could hold more than 21 pigs, because in reality you'd have a second deck on this. you be live at 7 on the new Black Sheep map. I've not even downloaded it. I've, I'll look at... I'll probably just watch your stream and make my, form my opinions from that. Um, but it's not something that appeals to me at all. In the long term. I might do a stream on it tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. I'm doing ETS tomorrow. Uh, or on Friday. And... Uh, just kind of have it as a secondary stream map, or stream only map, for a little bit. 
Um, see how that goes, I guess. Yeah, if I was up and about earlier, I would have been streaming that today, but... It, it would literally just be streaming for, streaming it for the money. Because um, I've very little interest in that map as a whole. That said, Landy, I uh, don't know if you've noticed, but the viewers are kind of dead today. Possibly because everybody wants to watch just the Black Sheep map and nothing else now. Which means that I'm going to have to be cynical and just stream that bloody map for the, the views. Black Sheep's new map good. I don't like it. I've not even looked at it. I don't, from the pictures and whatnot I've seen, I don't like it. Um, but I'll, I'll make a decision later on when I have a look at it myself or watch Landy stream, so... I'll probably stream it Friday regardless, just to see if people actually want to watch it, but... It's not the kind of map that I'd want to play. Um, personally. Definitely not something I'd want to play off camera. I'll put it that way. Welcome back, Callum. Ah, oh, nuts. Dan, if I don't, if I did that map today, uh, then the stream would have been delayed. Like I has been for the last like week. I'm trying to get back into actually streaming on time. Ah, oh, I've gone the wrong way. I like the map. Thing is, it. And this is my issue with it, is it's just kind of a an old streams edit. Like from the pictures it's more of the same from Black Sheep, there's nothing new other than the silly hedges they've got as a weird gimmick. Um, Like, I, I don't like the hedge, the, the cuttable hedges nonsense that he's got going. I don't like how they cut into logs for no reason. You know, it's, it's... It's old streams, but shiny and different. Sell. Oh my god, 37 grand for 21 pigs? Hello, Matt. Grass texture is nice. I like Bill's grass texture on um, on here. And Ox and Dave is using it on Oakfield as well, so I'm kind of looking forward to that map. Just I think the grass texture is realistic. I know there's been people claiming that it's not because their grass mysteriously turns brown when it's mowed because they're over mowing it or killing it or something. Hello Killzone and Grassy and Adam. See you Shane. Let's back up to the pigs we go. I'm not crashing too much today. Actually being very well behaved. Hello Glengar. Has everybody been busy doing something or something? Because now people are coming in. Am I? I'm good, Adam. For Oakfield, I do as well, but... I mean, I only have West Coast to play with, and... Uh, Oxygen David's... Uh, how, how do I say this? That's something like he's preventing. He doesn't want Oakfield uh, being streamed too much at the moment. It's not 100%. Pigs and blankets time of year. You mean sausage rolls?
That's something I haven't had in an age. Ooh, now I want sausage rolls. You've been arguing with your router. Did you win? Hello, Henry Grobelar. Did you at least win the argument, Matt? Keep room for open. Well, you can always delete something, TMCC. You don't have to have it open all the time. By the way, I sent you the, um... I don't know if you saw it, but I put the link to MR into Discord last night and tagged you. Um... For big fields, not many fields. I think that's gonna be... Yeah, that's gonna be my issue with oak fields. Like, I prefer having lots of small fields. Um, because it's a bit better for YouTube. Um, having a few huge fields is going to cause me problems when I'm trying to think of things to do in videos. No problem, TMCC. Just making sure you got it. Um, I don't know if there was a new version released last night, but the version now has, uh, or the version I'm using. Medium fields, but not too many roads. There's not too many roads on West Coast. Every road leads somewhere. And a lot of them are just kind of link roads. Or loop roads. You'll hate my map, by the way, Michael. Because I've been building it to what's real around this area. In fact, I've actually had to merge fields, because there were too many. Um, I think at last last time I counted, I might still merge. No, I won't be merging any more fields. Last time I counted, I had 70-odd fields. 70-something fields. Right. Let's load up the trailer with another load. We might, oh, we might be able to buy the BGA today. Or at least have the money for it. I might have to do some mowing then. If we can afford the BGA, I'll have to do some mowing. Um, and my map, just for reference, about the same size as the West Coast. So you're going to have a similar number of fields and, and actually quite small fields. Um, and a lot of roadways. It's not much compared to Naves Extended. Yeah, but I've merged fields together, TMCC. I've merged like 20 or 30 fields together because they, they were absolutely tiny. I've also deleted a couple of fields to turn them into other things. What's the name of the map? My map? Uh, Donetsk. There's no whip topics. I need to start a whip topic at some point. It might actually um, encourage me to actually work on the damn thing. Welcome back to Movie Later Gaming. Yeah, my first opinion is that I don't like it, but I could always be swayed. And I'll probably stream it Friday. I might stream it tomorrow and just move um, ETS to Friday. Finding it hard to get BG and stuff out of your map without feeling out of place. Um, Glengar, what I do is, if there's like an industrial estate in real life, put it there, put like a cell point or two there as well and kind of have that as an industrial estate and while it'll still be shoehorned in because you know they don't really exist in Ireland, it'll be there and it'll at least have kind of an area that it somewhat fits in. This train is the biggest, why are you leaving three miles of a gap in front of you? Part of Galway they're from? I'm not from Galway. Why are you leaving that big of a gap? Oh, 
Oh, I know why. It's because of the extended collision nodes at the front. That's an interesting little issue. There isn't really any that makes sense. Turn um, one of the smallish fields into a BGA. Turn a kind of a mid, a small to mid-sized fields into um, a placeable area. Dengar, you, you need a placeable area in a map now. What does BGA stand for? Biogas and Lager. Um, it's a German, German word. It's a uh, Biological gas production. Um, or bi yeah, biogas. Biogas production. Um, so, it's a, a word that we use in Farmson that doesn't actually exist in English. In English, it's just a biogas plant. But in German, it's a biogas and lager, which is where we get BGA from. Figure something out. Yeah, just change fields into um, stuff if you really, really need to, especially if you're in the middle of the countryside. Or. That's probably going to be your best bet. Um, but yeah, the, the industrial estate trick is probably the best one, because it's the one that's used most often. Um, it, you know, it's, it's never going to 100% fit, but if you make it. Somewhat vaguely believable. Where's the Aikman? In Lager. Uh, it's biogas for BG and then An Lager is the A. Gotta get the roads in first. Yeah, good luck. Painfully slow process. Are you using Robbie's roads, Glengar? Are you using the um, road construction kit by Fadian? Because uh, if you're using Fadian's roads, I would. Suggest um, swapping over to Robbie's because it's sick, essentially the same road pack, just with better textures and normals and whatnot. Um, and you'll probably have better results. Yeah, Robbie's cool. Because um, they are good roads. Took me a little while to get all my roads uh, converted over to Robbie's, though. I had to go through the map and I still actually need to do a drive through the map at some point. Or get somebody to do one and uh, make sure that everything's actually <laughs> level. Um, but it's just a case of getting everything to work together correctly. That's something you might need to look into. What is this, Matt? Robbie's road kit. You actually still working on your map, or have you given up entirely at this point? That looked like I knew what I was doing. Your map in general. Yeah. I'm intentionally going slowly here, by the way. I want to try and jackknife this in properly. Because I'm after giving myself very little room to actually switch. No, that's not going to work. Just move forward a bit more. There we go. Now we can do a slow turn in. Starting from about here-ish. There we go. Can we get a glimpse of it before I release it? You'll get a good look at it before I release it. I've got plans for it um, pre-released. It's just... Currently the map's unplayable. Um, I've got no playability stuff in the map whatsoever at the moment. 
That should be in close enough. It is. Well, 68 pigs is going to be enough. So let's load up another load. And that's going to be it for selling pigs. Then we can move on to actually doing some farming again. In Killzone, if you look through the channel, you'll actually see um, a bunch of stuff related to the map. Uh, if you look through playlists, you'll see a Donetsk playlist that's probably a couple of hundred hours long um, of like streams of me doing the, the, the mapping. Yeah, I saw, I saw your way of doing roads, Bill. That never occurred to me. I did it the really long, drawn-out way where you only have the one parent and all the roads are children. And it gets really, really, really annoying. <laughs> Have you even looked in my in-game? Yes. Uh, I actually need to change the, the hedges over the bills. Because the hedges I'm using are the old cold bear hedges, the ones that have collisions uh, straight down the centre all the time. I actually want to change over to the uh, bills new style, with the bail collisions only. Because that's better in my opinion. Tony TDM complaining that a a YouTube channel has ads to support itself. Yeah, Telegraph. I like it for Telegraph polls and whatnot. Ah, Tony. Tony's here. Hello, Tony. You realize those ads are what kind of pays the bills for me, right? So I mean, complaining about them is basically saying I don't deserve to make any money ever. No, Glengar. He um. What he does is he, he makes every road section a parent or child of the one before it. So it gets really annoying. It gets uh, really annoying to try and edit, but really complicated in the scene graph. But they all fit in together. Uh, change the collision mass value from one hedge to the new place to. Ooh, good. Not good. I changed hedge styles halfway through. That, it's gonna be a mess regardless. <laughs> Tony, thank you very much for subscribing. Don't complain about the ads, please. They literally are what pays my bills. Um, it allows me to do this... Well, barely. allows me to do this as a full-time thing. And on that note... Enjoy, Tony. Um, yeah, it never occurred to me to do it that way, Bill. I have to admit, that was a genius thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I, the ads are something that I'm running intentionally. Um, just to get a bit of money, then obviously it's coming up to Christmas money, it's kind of what people need. Uh, just different collision mass Ah, interesting. I changed where the um, parent thingy, or the, the widget yogi. I'm good at explaining things. I changed where, where you um, move the hedges that are halfway through, so some of them are going to go sideways um, when I change the collision values, and that's just going to have to be a thing that I fix. So I'll spend probably a couple of days fixing the hedges again. Alright, this is going to be the last lot of... Yeah, I am going to need to do some mowing, aren't I? Selling these will bring me up another 37,000. We're now over the 240,000 threshold, so let's turn off the truck and just kind of leave it here. Um, let's also turn off the Lexion. We're not going to need this today. Let's grab... Let's grab the case and do some mowing. Am I doing Christmas special? I don't plan on one, but, you know, something might fall together. I don't know. I make money just about. Uh, no, 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 don't follow. Oh, nuts. Can I turn down the music, please? There's no real nice middle ground. I can just replace the collision. Oh, thank goodness. That, yeah, that I can do. Because <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> I. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd have probably like a week's worth of work added because I'm an idiot and was using the hedges wrong in the first place. Do I have a front loader handy around? I'm, actually, if I just reset the rear more, it's going to teleport over about six feet. Uh, <coughs> rear more, rear more, rear more. Where's the rear more? There it is. <coughs> there. That's how physics works, Giants. Well done. Even before, I'm gonna treat the forest, put up that'll do. <laughs> I might see if I can find a, a Christmas tree mod that has like royalty free music on it or something. Right. What I wanna do now is something I wasn't entirely planning. Is I actually wanna go into field 17 and mow it up once again. Oh, I love how MR reacts with the moors. I love how MR makes the moors jiggle. Like, it's a tiny little thing. But if Giants just did that, just had... The mores being able to do the little, little wobbles like that. It would be so much better. Like, there's so many little things that if Giants did, it would make the game just feel more realistic. They don't even have to put in full simulation physics or whatever. It would be nice, but they won't do it. I know that Giants kind of like being the arcadulator. Um, but just having the mowers wobble. You know, a bit of dynamic movement like that. Just <coughs> I've come down with a bit of a cold. Um, you know, just a tiny bit of dynamic movement changes how the game feels. Feels, not fields. Um, this tractor, by the way, is the case uh, Optum, which should have enough power to pull these mowers nicely. So it's not quite the Magnum, but it's not the Puma. Feels more versatile. Yes, it's... Like, I'm fine with Giants having the game be an arcade game, you know? It, as much as it annoys me, <coughs> it, it, it'd be nice if it was a full-on simulator. But just the little things that MR does. It doesn't have to be... <coughs> I have to have a drink of water, as it seems. I may also need to finish the stream a bit early, if, uh... Mm. <coughs> if this cough doesn't go away. Um, to be called into the diff difficulty modes. Even if they, um... We just put in a simulation difficulty, where they turned on all the same options, that'd be awesome. Uh, Bill, now that... <coughs> That was fine, because I've been coughing my lungs up. Um, okay, apparently that wasn't fine, according to that. I, I, I would have said that was fine. <coughs> How am I doing? I'm dying slightly. Um, that's fine, Bill. Dan agreed with you, so I mean... I'm, I'm clearly the one the wrong here. Um, I got nothing against it. Yeah, I think Dan just saw that you deleted the message and, and kind of reacted to that. Tristan, what you said was fine. Um, small pile of min minute mistakes by the mods. <coughs> yeah, I'm, I may have to be forced into a little break from YouTube by this. Uh, actually, I won't be. Yeah, well, it was just a joke. A joke because I'm cop. Uh, if it was a death threat, I would have banned him myself. <laughs> oh. Whew. I think we're good now. 
Not quite. But we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. I wonder is it that my room's too dry? That could be a thing. I might need to invest in the humidifier at some point. Don't be sick. If I am sick, guys, don't worry. I'll keep videos up. Um, there'll all be time lapses while I'm ill. But, um... Because it... <coughs> It would be the, the, the case where I literally wouldn't be able to talk without coffee. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to stop YouTube entirely. It might be the case that streams <coughs> stop for a little while. Uh, if I am genuinely coming down with a bit of a bad cold, my bad colds are really bad. Um, like a week of me being dead to the world. Um, but I will be able to continue doing videos and they'll just <clears throat> add up uh, production to one per day if I do get sick. Because the one every two days is mainly just so that I can stream a bit more and uh, not be too stressed. But if I'm ill, I'll have nothing better to do than to play farm sim or play games and I'll be like, hey, gaming! Might even get some work done on the map. Actually, I might do, um,. Here's a question for you guys. I don't have a video plan for tomorrow, because tomorrow's Thursday. I don't usually have a video. Would you guys... Because I always find that I do more when I do this. Would you guys like a mapping time-lapse? <clears throat> Can't stream because the channel's not verified. My channel's not verified either. Do you mean your email? Because if you verify your email address, suddenly YouTube becomes a lot easier to do. <clears throat> um, them sipping an early night. I think Fahy would have a different solution. I'm going to go with Fahy's solution. Tea. Lots of tea. I might even... Um, yes, mapping time lapse. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what I'll do. It'll probably be primarily hedge, um, hedge work, getting the hedges to match uh, bills, which I'll have on the second screen. Um, G stream. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow is, um... I was gonna say that, Bill. I might even have to resort to a hot whiskey. Um... <clears throat> what I will almost definitely do... Is... What Chris just said. Chris, you are on the same wavelength as me, good sir. Tea with some honey in it. A teaspoon of honey in a cup of tea. I have found is great for a sore throat. Absolutely fantastic for a sore throat. Oh, J Jamison's Bill, the only true whiskey. Um, although I have had 18 year old scotch before and that was delightfully dreadful. Um, uh, delightfully, uh, not dreadful, horrendously painful. Because um, that kicked like a racehorse. That said, I am a whiskey man, so that racehorse kick was beautifully horrific. <laughs> Went to the factory once in Middleton. I've been there as well, actually. That's um, a little over an hour for me, but it's a really nice place to go. The giant uh, distillation bong in the front is kind of interesting to see. <laughs> or the, the giant vat that's been... Uh, it was once copper, but is now entirely copper oxide. <coughs> My friends that live just south of Cork. Oh, nice! I've got I've got family down in. Um, it's called West Cork. It's about as far south as you can get in, in Ireland. Um, like from where they are. <coughs> not going to say, say the town. But from where they are, um, it's maybe 20 minutes to the southernmost tip of the country. So, you know, we've kind of been a bit everywhere. But about 20 minutes from the northernmost tip, 20 minutes from the southernmost tip. I've never been to the so Never been there, though. Need to go there sometime. Who's leaving your messages? The mods? Because you're saying stuff that is not within the rules, Tony. <coughs> um... I need, to get, I need to learn to drive at some point, because I'd like to go down to um, 
the far end of West Cork and uh, look out across the Atlantic to see the thousands of miles. Cork, yeah, Cork and Kerry for that matter are two of the most wonderful counties in the country. As much as I make fun of Pedro, the people are just so friendly. Like, it's astonishing. You go to West Cork, or anywhere in Cork really, and you're just kind of welcomed in immediately and um, it's really bizarre. Because you might not know the people at all. They'll, they'll welcome you as if you're family. Granted, most of the people down there are family. <laughs> but, uh, really nice. Feature map based around there. The thing is, Glengar, at least the area of West Cork that I've been to is um, Bantry. Yeah, Bantry's beautiful. Have you ever been to Wicklow? Yes, I was. I've been to the aquarium in Bray, and that's um, quite a good aquarium. I don't know if they still have them, but the dogfish and leopard sharks they were particularly cool. I think they had a basket. No, they didn't have a basket shark. Did they? I can't remember. I know they had um, <coughs> leopard sharks. Heard Cork and came to disagree. You disagree that Cork's a great county? <clears throat> Pedro, I'm surprised with you. Then again, you do live in Ring of Skitty, so I mean, that, that could be all the explanation you need. Not nice people. With all the family I have down there, Pedro, I disagree. Wexford people are particularly nice too. Uh, Ten minutes from Bantry, you should do that. Yeah, the area of Oscar that I went to the most. Um, <clears throat> let's just say it was mainly salt marshes. Um, it was just like a lot of marshland, so like, I'd love to have a map around there, but it wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Oh, Pedro gets to have fun. Let's see what he get there first. What time is it where I'm streaming? It is currently 6.46pm. There's about 15 minutes left. Oh, Pedro, you missed it. Anyone? Maybe you should, maybe you should Bill. Although your, your Antarctic map is particularly nice at the moment. I particularly like how you've done the pengu penguins. Um... I mean, they're very realistic looking penguins. Although I'm not entirely sure about the polar bears. I don't think they fit too well. <laughs> I wonder... I wonder how many people are going to actually think I'm serious about the Antarctic. Hey, Tim. Uh, penguins are amazingly derpy. I love them. Because uh, in Dublin Zoo, the penguins there just keep falling over. The, the derpiest animals, and I love them. Yeah, Eddie, that's a lie, and we know it. <laughs> Do it! Do it, Bill! <laughs> just... <laughs> just troll everybody to make them think that you're putting penguins into a map for no reason. Oh dear. I'd love to see somebody actually try and do, <laughs> do like an Arctic or Antarctic. <laughs> Hello, Tommy. <laughs> been to Dublin Zoo in Monday. I haven't been to Dublin Zoo in years. I haven't been to Dublin in a few in. Oops. Since. Um... Oh, this does work in MR. Beautiful. Haven't been to Dublin since. 
the Deadpool movie came out. Uh, I plan on actually coming back up for Deadpool 2, because i got a friend up there uh, who we've got kind of an agreement that every time there's a new Deadpool movie we go see it together. So what I'm going to do, instead of, um, I actually need to sort out some equipment as well. Instead of using a forage harvester, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a forage wagon to do the silage from here, because it's going to be a bit easier. Um, Deadpool! Now which he knows where I get my sense of humor from. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to that movie. Can I do a Q&A with Landy? Don't we... Tommy, aren't our streams basically Q&As already? Because, like... Both of us... Actively try and answer as many questions as we can. Um, during stream, so like, if you ask me a question now, I'll answer it now. If I see it. If I feel it's worth answering. Um, sometimes I'll say, you know, I'm not going to answer that. But if I feel the question's worth answering, I'll answer it. Um, so does... Dandy does the same. There are some questions that annoy us, like, do you know Daggerwind? Um, so I have issues with the Daggerwind fanboys and why Daggerwind unfortunately is in the blacklist. I've got nothing against Daggerwind himself, it's, it's the bloomin' fanboys. How are we now, Massey? How's the exam prep going? One thing I do like about who's best you <laughs> your styles are different enough that you're both the best. <laughs> um, I honestly don't know. Actually, that's a good question. <laughs> Cause like. You're both really good at making believable maps. And after that, it's just down to personal preference of which maps you prefer. I'm gonna have to move this uh, JCB out the way. I don't know why... Oh, I remember why I abandoned the field. <clears throat> there was a minor incident in this field a while back and I forgot to move the JCB out of it afterwards. Come on, before I hit the crops. Yes. Ignore the fact that I went through the hedge twice. Realism. Yeah. I d d d then there are questions that annoy Dan that usually result in a timeout. Um... That's the thing, I, th I think every mapper has their own strengths. And their own weaknesses, and it's... A case of knowing where the strengths are and where the weaknesses are. Especially when you're, um... Interacting with the mappers. <laughs> you can think of one or two that the weaknesses really get, get on the nerves. Um... But it, it like... It's a case of... You play to your strengths, and you try and cover the weaknesses as well as you can. Hello, guy, okay? How are you doing today? Which mean dig, dig, need JCB. Diggers? JCB make diggers? Well, JCB make JCBs. A.K.A. Backholes, for those of you living in America. Because, I don't know about the UK, but in Ireland, every single backhoe is just called JCB. And every excavator is just called a cat. Or a caterpillar. It's just, they're the brands that are the biggest for those two items. Making <laughs> I wasn't digging myself out of a hole, I was making sure not to dig it in the first place. There's a difference between not trying, or trying not to dig the hole and trying to dig your way out of it. 
Destiny 2 Christmas. I'm not going on the Destiny thingy. But there, there are maps and mappers that just get on my nerves <laughs> at times with the stuff they do. Um, where they just keep bringing out maps that are almost identical to each other. JCB make digger as well. In Ireland, every excavator and every backhoe is a digger. So, JCB do make diggers. Um, I think JCB actually do make excavators as well. Just on a very, very small scale. You can't wait? Well, that makes one of us, Massey. <laughs> Not gone on Destiny at all. Not many games that I'm actually looking forward to, though. So I mean, all streams and the new map. So that's exactly what I mean. Is like, I get the black sh black sheep is being consistent with his mapping style, but there's being consistent and there's just effectively making an update to the map. That was the wrong button, Dave. Um. And I really feel like the Valley of the Old Farm is just an update for old streams. Just looking at the two maps, they're so similar that one might as well be the update of another. Um, I'll go into the map t tonight and have a look around. I'll probably stream it on Friday, but... There's... Ooh, the wobble. What I'm going to do right now is... What time is it? 5-2. We don't really have time to do much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some equipment changer rules. So first things first, into the garage we go. Uh, this can go, and actually if that can go, then this can go. And if they can both go, then if I can find, a, yeah, this can go too. And this, you can see we're building up money again all of a sudden, because I'm going through equipment that I don't want and or need. This can go as well. Uh, I'm probably gonna regret that, but oh well. And this can go, and I think that's all the equipment gone that needs to be gone. We've still got a lot, but... Oh, uh, yeah, the... this can go t That's what 86.50. Oh, hello. The Heston Baler's producing proper Heston Bales. Never mind, then. Apparently I was using the wrong baler. Okay, 86.50 per bale. That's suddenly useful again as a Heston Baler. And what I want to buy... is two things. Number one, I want to get the... Yeah, let's get the Lily Hibiscus. So that's 62 grand gone just there. And in loading wagons, let's get the... The Lily Tigo. No, we'll get the Bergman Repex. And I th think, in fact, I'm pretty sure that this Fent 700 can pull the hibiscus. Yeah, I, I, I get why he's done it so similar to, like, old streams. It's just that it's, for me, a bit too similar to... Just for my own tastes, I guess. I don't like the way he's done the hedges. I really don't like the, the hedges gimmick he's got going on with the magically turning to logs somehow thing. I get why he's done it, but it makes no sense. <laughs> um, like, it'd be nice if somebody could come up with... I know in FS13 they were like probable... probable proper cuttable hedges. I'd love if that could come back in some shape or form. Um, I don't think the form that it's come back in from Black Sheep is the way that it should be done though. It'd be nice if... Um, it'd be really nice if Giants could make like growable hedges that have twigs and whatnot in them. That'd be really nice. I don't see that happening though. You know, realistic requests are gonna have to be realistic. Because 
so what they could do with those edges, like as they grow up, they actually become lower and lower poly. So planting them, you get the highest poly, which is all the twigs and whatever, and then as the leaves grow in, they become low poly. How do the FS13 ones work? You don't remember them. It was basically just kind of an extra crop where the hedge grew random bits out the top and you got a hedge trimmer and just ran it over the top and it would cut the top off. Um, it wasn't very advanced, it wasn't very sophisticated, but it worked. Um, and like, it's an idea that I like, it's just that I don't feel like Black Sheep of found the right solution to that issue of, you know, because everybody wants to be able to cut the hedges. I'm not going to pretend like nobody wants to cut a hedge ever. I just wish there was a better solution than them magically turning into, holy crap, that's a window and a half, than magically turning into logs. Um, and like, it's something that would be nice on British and Irish maps is, is hedge cutting, because that's something that happens around here. It's, it's in my eyes, a feature missing from maps that just can't be done at the moment. Some of those games you have to get, fair enough. As long as you're not getting Star Wars Battlefront 2, um, the new one, because that's just, no. Or apparently the UFC game is even worse. Uh, I'll put it this way, there's a reason I've been boycotting EA for years, and they've just keep reinforcing my boycott. That's the thing, Eddie. Like it, it doesn't make sense. I get the solution that they're trying. I get the plan. I get what their idea was, but it just it it irks me that it doesn't make sense. Hello, model farmer. Uh, we will be finishing up quite. Oh, actually, now. <laughs> Landy should be going live in a minute. Um, but Eddie, Pedro, well, Pedro might not. Eddie, could you grab the link to today's video, please, and just pop it in chat once or twice? Because it is time for me to go, unfortunately. I'm very sorry that I do have to go. Uh, but I do want to do some things, and I'll be uh, eating very soon. I'll be having my dinner soon as well. Um, that's the thing, is like, it's not something that's done too much in Germany. Gi giants are actually in Switzerland. But I'll leave you guys by saying I've been Rainbow Dave, you've been watching Farming Simulator 17 on the West Coast. Hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, stay safe. And goodbye.